All right, so now you've seen the basics of Spring MVC's flow. What you might have noticed in my coding examples is that whenever I started to add some new functionality, I started with the template first. That's because with a Timeleaf template, I can prototype the functionality I'm designing while still adding hooks for the code I'm going to write later. It's a great way to determine the actual requirements of a feature you're working on and align them with the user experience. So in that vein, let's learn a bit more about what's possible with Timeleaf and worry about connecting the controller later. First, let's clarify a few things. Timeleaf is a template engine, which means that it's a tool we can use to apply a template to some data and generate some kind of formatted data as a result. Specifically, Timeleaf is an HTML template engine, which means that the templates look a lot like HTML and the compiled result data is HTML. As you've seen already, we can also add special attributes to the template that tell Timeleaf how to process their respective elements. As you saw with the th text attribute, we can refer to variable names in Timeleaf attributes. In fact, we can even write some basic code in these attributes using a notation called Spring EL or Spring Expression Language, which is documented on the Spring website. There's a link in the text below.